how long is this going to take to read? Like it or not, that's the subconscious question every single one of your visitors asks themselves before deciding to read one of your posts. And because digital content isn't physical, like this book here, your visitors have no instantaneous way to gauge how long your posts are. Until now, that is. Keep watching to learn how you can boost article engagement by adding reading progress indicators to your blog posts in just a few clicks using the most powerful theme builder for WordPress. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes. Now, what are reading progress indicators? Well, they typically come in three forms. The first is a horizontal progress bar, which is a visual tool to show a visitor's relative position within an article. A good example of this is on the Stronger by Science blog, and at the very top of the page, you see this blue horizontal bar that starts moving from left to right as someone scrolls down the page. A second example is the HubSpot blog, and instead of the progress bar being at the top of the page, you'll notice that it's placed beneath a sticky header. A second type of progress indicator is an estimated reading time. Typically, these are found in the above the fold area of a blog post or an article. If you look at the online writing platform Medium, they've made estimated reading times a staple feature of all their content. Also, websites that rely heavily on long form content also tend to use estimated reading times like you see here on Mark Manson's blog. The third and final type of progress indicator we're gonna talk about today is what we call the reading time remaining feature. Now, typically this reading time remaining is in a floating or sticky element which, of which sidebars are very good candidates for. And you can see that this one here auto updates to show the remaining time and minutes as we scroll down the page. So why are progress indicators so darn engaging? Well, it turns out that the more we know about something, including the amount of time it takes to complete or consume that thing, the more likely it is that we're going to commit to do that thing. So when it comes to boosting your blog post engagement, Adding reading progress indicators will help get more of your visitors to start your posts because they know the time commitment up front, feel less overwhelmed by your lengthy posts because they're going to stay oriented within your content, and they'll be more likely to finish your posts because they'll always have the finish line in sight. So let's move on and see how we can add each of these types of progress indicators using Thrive Theme Builder. To begin, open your Thrive Theme Builder dashboard and navigate to the templates area. From there, let's go ahead and customize the default post template. Once the visual editor loads, let's get started by adding that horizontal progress bar first. This is super easy to do with Theme Builder. Just highlight the template breadcrumb first, and then come down in the main options tab and toggle on the reading progress indicator option. From there, you're gonna have two display options. You can place the progress bar at the top of the viewport, like the Stronger by Science blog does, or you can place it beneath the header like the HubSpot blog does. Now, if you decide to use that second option, it's important to note that your header must be sticky. The way to do this is to enter the edit header mode, open the scroll behavior tab, and then click on sticky. Click done, and then we can finish setting up our progress bar. Let's highlight the template breadcrumb again. And now we just need to decide on our color for our bar. So we can pick any color we want here, but what I recommend is using your Theme Builder brand color because if you ever change that, this is gonna update automatically with it. Now let's just click apply, save our work, preview it, and as we scroll down the page, you'll notice that the horizontal progress bar is now active. Let's move on to adding an estimated reading time to our post. Typically, I use the styled list element to help me do this because it makes it very easy to have an icon next to text. So already, I have this clock icon next to the dynamically populated publish date. I have a person icon next to the dynamically populated author name. Now, I'm just going to highlight that list item, clone it, drag one of them to the right so it creates another column. Now, I'll swap out the icon Let's use a book icon since we're talking about estimated reading time. Let's also change the text here. The way we'll do this is we'll click on the dynamic text option, select content in the first dropdown, 
in reading time remaining in the second dropdown, and then you see that automatically populates, showing us the amount of minutes that it will take to read this post. Now we need to just update the inline text to look like the other elements, so I believe that's 16 pixels in width. Then I'll click on the list item and set a minimum width here. Let's say, let's say 150 pixels, and I'm also going to change this to say four minute read. We can make this icon look just a few pixels bigger, and now it fits in really well. If you need to adjust the columns, feel free to do so, and then just double check how this looks on tablet and mobile. That looks good, so I'm happy to save the work and preview this. So now if I scroll down, you see my horizontal progress bar and the estimated reading time in the above the fold area of the page. Finally, let's add that last progress indicator, the remaining reading time feature. Now, like I said before, you'll need to add this to a sticky or floating element. So good candidates for this would be the content box containing your social share element or your sticky sidebar. In this example, I'm gonna show you how to add it to the sidebar. So let's begin by making sure it's sticky. Highlight the sidebar section breadcrumb navigate to the scroll behavior tab, and just make sure you enable the sticky sidebar option. From there, grab a simple text element, and let's drag and drop that into the middle of the sidebar, and I'll show you why here in a moment. Let's go ahead and center that text up, and we'll do the same thing we did for the estimated time feature. We're gonna click on the dynamic text icon, select content, and then reading time remaining. When we click insert, that's going to populate, the time remaining in minutes plus this default text. So I'm just gonna change the default text to say something like in bold time remaining colon, and then we'll just say four minutes. So you can make that say whatever you want. Now we'll just save the work. And when we preview it, you'll notice we have the horizontal progress bar, the estimated reading time, and now the time remaining in minutes that auto updates as we scroll down the page. Again, remember to add this to the middle of your sidebar because if it's lengthy, not all of the sidebar will be visible as the visitor scrolls. So by putting it in the middle, you'll make sure that remaining reading time stays visible no matter where someone is in the article. Well, hey, looks like you made it to the end of this video. What are the chances you glanced down at the video progress bar in total time before you decided to watch this? If you did, then that's the power of progress indicators in action. So what do you say? Are you ready to start adding reading progress indicators to your articles to get more visitors to start and finish your blog posts? Then you should join our Thrive membership today so you can get Thrive Theme Builder and all of our conversion-focused WordPress plugins for one super affordable price. If you have any questions about progress indicators, Make sure to leave them in the comment section below so I can get you some answers. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.